Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Dapper deck. This is a Knock version three signature series from Vanishing Incorporated. All right, so what is the Dapper deck? Uh, originally, Vanishing Incorporated released a Kickstarter. On that Kickstarter, they had two paisley uh, wrapped colored decks. And those two Paisley decks came in a wooden card box, and they were accompanied by a matching tie and matching silk square. Uh, and I think it was really popular, a lot of people liked it, uh, and it was really attractive. However, it was a little uh, out of some people's price range, <laughs> including mine, and I even wear ties. Uh, but it was just a little bit too much for me. And so uh, what happened was Vanishing Incorporated listened to their audience, and they decided to re-release uh, the Dapper deck again, but maybe with a little bit of a, a tweak. And so rather than just releasing the deck again, uh, they changed the back design to the Knock uh, Burgundy, or the Knock Maroon color, uh, in the version three in the Signature Series. So in connection with House of Playing Cards and Expert Playing Card Company, uh, Vanishing Incorporated has released this deck. It's perfect for magicians, it's perfect for flourishers. Uh, these cards spread beautifully, they cut, they ferrule perfectly, and I think the minimalistic design and the vibrant color really makes them stand out. The front of the tech ace is done in this dark red, and of course uh, it says knock over in the corner. And then in this corner, because it is a signature series deck, okay, that means it's a knock version 3S, it has the signature of Vanishing Incorporated in the corner. The rest of the tech case, again, is minimalistic design. You have a little bit of ad copy in the bottom, and that is pretty much it. On the inside, however, you'll see that uh, Paisley pattern that I was talking about earlier. So this is a reflection of the previously released deck. Now, just a little bit of an argument for me about uh, the ad copy. The ad copy says that these are a damask pattern. Now, I will stressfully disagree. <laughs> Go out to Google right now and Google what damask looks like. And you will s agree with me that this is not a damask pattern. This is Paisley. Okay, so uh, it's not damask. I don't know why they, they call it damask in the ad copy, but it's not damask. The card back design is a giant field of red, and because it's the signature series, uh, it has that thin uh, black border that goes around the edges. Uh, the other thing about the signature series are these cards are fully marked. Uh, when the Knock version 3s originally came out, they were only marked by suit. Okay, so you could tell if they were clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds. Now that the signature series are out, so these are version 3 S's, okay, uh, now they are fully marked. And so just make sure that when you go to purchase this deck, whoever you are getting it from is giving you the PDF that you're going to need to be able to read this. Sometimes when you purchase marked decks, uh, either off eBay or a third-party seller, you might not get the instructions included, so just make sure you're getting that as well. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel and handle, and the best thing I can do for you is measure them with a caliper. So if I take 10 cards, put them into a caliper, and then measure them scientifically, uh, 10 cards comes out to 2.76. 2.76 is a very thin stock, and it's going to be on par with the Roadhouse deck. With this deck, you're going to get two original Jokers, and they're very simple and very uh, unique to the Dapper deck. Uh, it's just a giant field of white. This is Joker in the middle. Now, the pattern on this, you might be able to call this pattern Damask, but not anything else in the deck. One of the neat things I like about this deck is that they've incorporated the Paisley pattern into all four of the large pip aces. And so rather than just making the ace of spades stand out, uh, all four aces have a very beautiful design. Your pips and indice cards and court cards will all be completely standard and instantly recognizable, making them perfect for gameplay, poker, and magic. The cards will also come in a very special deck stack that upon taking a closer look, you'll see what I mean. All right, so that is my review of the Knock Dapper deck from Vanishing Incorporated. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.